Sometimes you can upload a video that may touch on somebody's nerves a little bit too much that they'll flag you and you'll get a community guideline strike. And that can really harm your channel. So today I'm going to teach you how to appeal a community guideline strike. Hello and welcome back to another video. If you're new around here and you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow a YouTube channel, or push your brand out there onto the second largest search engine on the internet, click subscribe, start creating. From time to time, I know that I've put up videos that have been a little bit risque on my Mr. Harry Britt channel. Some of them may be on sensitive topics, some may be about news, some may be a little bit more adult, but every now and then I might upset someone and I'll get flagged for some kind of community guideline. Now it is much more common than you think. Maybe you've had a community guideline strike and you're worried that it could harm your channel and you want to appeal it. That's what we dive into today. But before we tackle that topic, I want to know, have you had a community guideline strike? Do you know what it was for? Did you appeal it? Did you win? Or have you ever had some form of copyright strike in which you were slightly worried and you appealed that as well? Please leave a comment down below. Now a community guideline strike is based on the behavior, your best behavior on the YouTube platform. It's slightly different to a copyright strike. If you need help with a copyright strike, I've done a video on how to appeal a copyright strike. It's up here. But a community guideline strike is based on how you have been perceived by the community. Are your thumbnails a little bit risky? Are your videos on a topic that shouldn't really been discussed? Are you Logan Paul and you've walked into a suicide forest like a complete idiot? Are you spamming other people's comment sections with sub for sub requests? Are you packing a load of keywords into your descriptions when they're not relevant? Are you putting affiliate links in your descriptions without telling people that's an affiliate link? All of those can get you a community guideline strike. If you offend someone and they flag your video and YouTube deem that their complaint is viable, then you can get a community guideline strike as well. But in some cases, it could be an automated system as well. You can appeal against all of these, but you have to appeal in good faith. Now, when you get a community guideline strike, you'll get an email that looks like this. It will highlight the video in question. It will give you a reason for the community guideline strike, whether it's misleading, whether it's spam, whether it's a sensitive topic, whether it's the thumbnail, whether you happen to be placing too many links in the description or affiliate link programming, anything really. It will highlight what it is. It will also tell you what it's done to that video, whether it's, it's hiding it, whether it's put it unlisted, whether it's removed it entirely if it's too egregious, or whether or not it's a slap wrist and they've removed your thumbnail if you've been a bit too clickbaity or a bit too adult. Now you can accept these strikes if you so wish, and these strikes tend to roll off your account after 90 days. But each strike can have a negative effect on your channel. If you have a community guideline strike, your first one, you might lose live stream capabilities. If you get a second strike within a 90 day period, you could lose the ability to upload for a two week period. And if you get three strikes, you're out. That's your channel gone and your ability to create any YouTube content in future. Now, if you're not willing to let the, the strike roll out for 90 days and you feel that you've been wronged in some way, you can appeal. First of all, when you get the email, you normally accept that you understand you've been alerted of this. If you wish to appeal, you go to your creator studio, you go to the channel tab, and then you'll see all of the boxes with all of the features that you can do, including your standing. You'll notice that the little face has changed color or it's moved in the bar. And then you can click, and there's the reason for your copyright claim or, in this case, your community guideline strike. You click appeal and it pops up a form. And in that, that kind of little box, which in my opinion should be bigger, you type the reason you feel that you've been wronged or you, you but I highly advise that it's not like, oh, uh, you're wrong, you suck, you're ruining my money, right? You, you need to be objective with this. You need to have a look at why they feel that that's wrong, right? So if you feel that, Say for example, they, they've looked at it and they think that, you know, oh, maybe that was a bit too risky, right? Maybe, maybe the topic's a bit too sensitive. You then explain why you've made that video. So say for example, I've done it on my other channel. I did a video about a vagina museum, which sounds really entertaining and funny and blokey, right? And it got striked. The video is not about the, the, the content the, the adult nature of the vagina, it was the scientific nature of the vagina. So I've now said vagina on this channel too many times. I'm sorry, this, this video is going weird. But I appealed on that video explaining that it's scientific, it's there for educational purposes, it's not there for titillation, it's, it's not got a graphic thumbnail. Please reinstate, please review. And then two or three days later, done. 
The appeal has been accepted, the strike has been removed, any limitations were removed, and my, my smiley face has gone from orange back to green. Just like copyright strikes and any other form of strike, if you do appeal and you've been denied, then any actions that they've agreed initially will remain, and it can roll out in 90 days, and they advise that you can't appeal any other similar things within 90 days as well. They just remove that feature. At the end of the day, I think every growing YouTuber gets at least one copyright strike or one community guideline strike at one point, so you learn, you don't have to panic, you don't have to pull back, and don't let this deter you. Just pay attention to what they're telling you might be wrong with this, and don't do it again in future. And remember, if you need any help with any other features on YouTube, there's a playlist up here. Go and watch that. So that's how to appeal a community guideline strike. For more tricks and tips, there's a free PDF up here in the description down below. Hit the subscribe button for two videos each and every week, every Tuesday and Saturday. Hit that notification icon so you know when I'm live streaming as well. Go out there, start creating.